Earlier today, I posted a video talking about me talking shit to my fans or my subscribers or whatnot. Um, this video is like a direct part two to that um, because I've had kind of a lot on my mind today um, on this topic. Um, I've, for the most part, I've got some really, really good feedback from you guys on my reactions to things and I had asked on Facebook today um, to my friends, you know, what do you think about the way I handle myself? Um, do you think that I guess I go overboard or am I doing the wrong thing by speaking out when I get abused by people? Just what are your thoughts in general? Not saying I'm going to change or listen, just kind of wanting to know where people are at because as you know, I always kind of take into consideration what it is people say to me. And every single person has given me pretty much the same answer. Uh, there was one negative comment on that video and I found it quite hilarious. I blocked them um, just because you could tell that they were the kind of uppity shit talking person that's not going to listen to anything anybody says and they're just going to think they're right and it, they're not worth arguing with. And uh, but there are a couple things that they said that I do want to talk about here, not because they bothered me, but just because they are points that I feel are very obvious and they obviously couldn't pick up on. And um, I just want to kind of get out there because as you guys well know, I always have to have the last say or else it runs around in my head like, I want to say this, I want to say this, I want to say that. Now, my thoughts are really, really all over the place on this and I'm going to try to keep it linear, but I can't make any promises. So first of all, I, I have considered to myself, well, most people, nearly all people on YouTube, you never hear them talking about bullying or negative comments, yada, yada, yada. That is one point that this asshole brought up is that, you know, oh, on my small channel, my tiny little channel, as if I don't know my channel is tiny or as if I care that my channel is tiny, like that's some sort of insult, like basically how dare I care about what people are saying to me on my tiny little insignificant channel, uh, regardless of the fact that, you know, this is kind of my life and of course I'm going to care about it, but um, also that, oh, you never hear about other YouTubers talking about getting bullied or harassed or insulted and the common denominator here is you. So maybe, you know, you need to change who you are because obviously there's something wrong with you. And that right there is really fucking ignorant because what sets me apart from other YouTubers is I don't put on a false hee 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 friendly face. No, that's not directed at Emily Boo. So get the fuck over it. Anyway, um, I don't just put on a fake friendly face. There are so many YouTubers out there that I know get harassed and bullied. And what they do is they delete comments. They don't interact with the bullies. They just delete it or leave it and ignore it. They don't say anything. They just let the comments go. And I am not one of those people. So what sets me apart is that I acknowledge what people say and I speak back to the people that have something negative to say. I do this for a couple of reasons. One is because I have a big mouth. I am combative when somebody approaches me in a negative way because I see no need to go out of your way to talk shit to somebody. And I feel like if you are going to go out of your way to be negative and to try to insult somebody, then you deserve whatever you've got coming to you. Just like if a chick hits a guy for no reason at all, and then the guy hits her back, the girls that go whining, oh, I got hit by a guy. I, I am not on their side. I'm on the guy's side. You know, if you want to be a big tough girl and go and try to beat up a guy thinking that he's not going to hit you back and he hits you back, then you deserve it. If you don't want to get hit, don't attack him. You know, if you don't want to get your own medicine given back to you, then don't do it in the first place. If you do, you've got no one to blame but yourself. So if you come to me with your negativity and your bullshit and I go back to you with it, I'm not to blame. You are to blame. And it's kind of a bullshit thing that the, the general argument on the ones that are against me, their argument is, isn't that I'm being bullied. It's that I respond to it. And it just shows you what the fuck is wrong with the world when the problem isn't that the person's getting bullied in the first place. The, per the problem is that the person is retaliating. 
it should be the problem is is that people think it's okay to spread this useless hate and negativity for no reason whatsoever not the fact that somebody on the receiving end decides to speak up and speak back that's a big issue here another reason that I speak back is because and I've gotten comments saying this you're a youtuber youtubers get negative comments bullies insults bullied insults all the time they never say anything so get used to it um, so basically you're telling me that because people go and spread negativity and hatred on other youtubers channels and they ignore it and say nothing you see seeing them as a person with real feelings and emotions who are reading these nasty comments and you expect that you could just go wherever you want to whoever you want say whatever you want and you're never gonna get told off for it that's the general mindset of these people and I think that is a load of fucking bullshit you cannot go through life not seeing the people on the other end of the monitor as a real person we are all real people and whether the youtuber that you see might not respond to you chances are they're still reading it and somewhere in there it might affect them even in passing and even if it somehow didn't who the fuck are you to try to bring down other people like that I mean seriously like who the fuck are you and you know I'm not gonna just shut my mouth and not give in to the bullies because that's like a huge myth that really needs to be dispelled here is that if you don't respond to the bullies they'll go away because they will not go away if this was true there would be a lot less bullying than there is now bullies will not go away the less that you respond to them that is simply not true and it's fucked up to be spreading that because people are going to expect that if they keep their mouth shut and they don't say anything that they're going to be left alone and that's not the way the world works all that does is make them try harder they know that they can get to you somehow and if it's worth their time to come to you trying to hurt you in the first place do you really think they're gonna stop just because you didn't say anything I know this from personal experience and the people that I've seen and dealt with it will not pass you by just because you say nothing you know um, there might be a few people who aren't worth the bullies time and they'll just be like hey you're a fat pig uh -huh, and then they won't say anything these are like lower level bullies but the people who genuinely have it out for you they will genuinely <clears throat> do whatever they can to hurt you and get to you so either you keep your mouth shut and you let them think this is okay and they'll do it to you they'll do it to other people or you can defend yourself if people don't like the fact that I sit here and defend myself I don't care because you know I am me and you are you and everybody handles everything in a different way obviously the people who follow me and watch me follow me and watch me because they like how I am if they didn't they wouldn't be here or if they're here just because they want to talk shit about me they're still here you know one way or the other they're still here and another thing this person said was um oh that I'm I don't react like everybody else so I'm the problem and it's like no I don't react like everybody else and I'm not the problem and no I'm not gonna change myself because you don't like it I mean think about this okay all the people that have a problem with what I'm doing right here the fact that I'm here on camera and I'm talking and I'm expressing myself why do you have a problem with it because you think that people shouldn't speak up about the pestering they get or the the little comments that might mean nothing to you you think that I shouldn't do these things I think differently and other people think differently who made you Lord and master of the universe you and everybody else like you like the people who think that I look stupid you know who made you God of everything I damn sure didn't so you're not gonna control my life I don't care who you are you're not gonna control my life whatsoever um, they also mentioned that I I do care because I moderate comments I moderate comments because my channel is not a free-for-all for people to come and just insult me I don't want the insults on my page that doesn't mean that I'm gonna go boohoo cry kill myself or even take it to heart like as in I really need to change I'm too old to fucking change I'm fucking 40 years old I'm not gonna change now just because some little anonymous twerp online is gonna tell me that they don't like how I am you know 
uh, for the longest time, Lolcow and Kiwi Farms or whatever had me believing that I was the problem, that I was this insanely negative, horrible, mean, nasty person that needed to change my whole life and my whole being. And I tried that. Like after my surgery, I was like, oh, I've got a second chance at life and I'm going to be almost positive and I love everybody and I love everything. And it was so unnatural to try to force this positivity. I can't post about a single negative thing. I've got to just be just like everybody else. And I tried it and it fucking sucked. It tore me apart inside because I was putting on this false face. It wasn't who I was. It wasn't how I was. And yeah, for the most part, I am happier. Just because I don't post sunshine and butterflies and rainbows 24-7 doesn't mean I'm a negative person. It just means I talk about what I want to talk about. And I don't, you know, sugarcoat my life to make it seem like everything's hunky-dory when it's not. I mean... My life is good. Uh, I've actually got no complaints. We've got this awesome house, which the house video is scheduled to come up in a couple of days, the house tour or whatever. Um, my son's living here. I've got my husband. We've got a car now. I mean, everything is like as perfect as it could possibly be right now. Uh, nothing in my life is going wrong. Knock on wood, you know, <laughs> but uh, nothing in my life is going wrong. So I've got no complaints whatsoever. I'm not depressed. I'm not upset. I'm not just walking around angry. I mean, I'm completely fine. I'm completely happy, but I don't show my happiness in the same way that others do. And back to what I was saying, yeah, I am different and there's nothing I could do about it. I've tried changing and being like everybody else. And why should I? Who is the one person out there who decides what is normal and what isn't? It's not any of you out there. It's not me. Everybody has their own version of what normal should be what normal is, what they're comfortable with, and it's not up to anybody else to change that or to tell you that what you're doing is wrong or how you're living is wrong. Not unless you're physically hurting somebody else or you're, you know, being a bully online or you're you're set out to hurt somebody else. If you are simply just living your own life in your own little bubble, you've got your family, you've got your friends, you've got your circle of support, or even if you're just by yourself and you love yourself, then it's nobody's business but your own. I love myself. I love exactly how I am. And so I'm not going to be changing. If people want to be around me, they can be around me. If they don't want to be around me, then, you know, um, for you, you guys who are supporting me and you're here and you're commenting on my videos and you're watching, like, I love you guys to death. You guys are fucking amazing to me. And I'm not just saying that or talking out of my ass or being like that kind of YouTuber that's like, oh my God, I love all my fans. You guys, honestly, are the shit. You you really are. I appreciate all of your kind words. I, appreci I appreciate all the messages I get and all the support that I get. However, if you decided one day that you didn't agree with me and you hated me and I'm a stupid bitch and you're tired of me talking about real life problems and you just kind of want fantasy for a while, um, then you're free to go. You know, nobody's forcing you to watch. I'm not going to hate you for it. The only time I hate someone or retaliate is if you go out of your way to try to hurt me. And, you know, I mean, I, I do hate people like that because they're nasty and cruel and evil human beings. When someone who gets picked on protects themselves or stands up for themselves, it's not bullying. It's defending yourself. I get really nasty. I will throw out the meanest fucking um, insults and I will do whatever I can to give it back to you. I do turn into a really big cunt if I get picked on, but I won't just go to a random person and pick on you and try to hurt you or do anything like that. I just live my life. You write me. I try to write you back. You're nice to me. You respect me. I'm nice to you. I respect you. I start off treating everybody equally. Everybody is cool in my book. You know, you all are given equal chances with me. Everybody is just, you're just you, you're just there. Potential friends, you know, who knows? Um, but then if you go out of your way and you're like, I don't like the way you talk. I don't like what you talk about. Oh, boo hoo. You cry too much. Oh, boo hoo. You whine too much. Oh, who cares about your story? Oh, you're a pedophile. What's your husband like 12? Um, you know, things like that. It's like, why are you saying this to me? What have I done that has impacted your life so much that you feel like you need to write this to me to try to get to me? And 
are you really that shocked that I'm going to write to you and tell you off for it? Uh, I don't live my life to please other people. I live my life to please myself. I've learned this the hard way over, over many, many years, you know, it's never going to make you happy to be someone other than who you really are, because in the end, you're just lying to yourself and all this time will have passed you by while you're trying so hard to fit into what other people think is normal, what other people think you should be. And in the end, it's like, be whoever you want to be, like, be whatever and whoever. If you are a girl and you feel like you should have been a boy or vice versa, or if you're old, but you're young at heart, or if you're young, but you've got an old soul, I mean, who is to tell you that that's wrong? You live your life for yourself, for your family, and happiness will find you. You cannot let other pe other people dictate your life for you because they're, they're no one and they're definitely no one to try to order you around. I refuse to let myself be ordered around. I refuse to be what you consider normal and I refuse to shut my mouth and turn a blind eye when people pick on me. It might be small comments here and there, but they are negative comments nonetheless, and they're not appreciated, and there is absolutely no reason for it, because I've never hurt you, I've never insulted you, I've never attacked you, so what gives you the right to do it to me? And I don't really give a shit if not one single YouTuber in the whole of YouTube retaliates or acknowledges that they get picked on. They're not me either. I don't care if my channel never grows beyond 2,000 subscribers. I'm in this for me, not for anything else, not for the numbers like I've said time and time again. And if you're still ignorant enough to come to me and find a problem with who I am as a person, I really don't give a shit because I'm not changing. You can take it or you can leave it. And I'm going to keep doing what I do and people will watch or they won't watch, but even if... I have zero subscribers. I will still be here doing what I do because it is what I enjoy. And, um, I mean, if I did get more subscribers, I think at like 5,000, if I got 5,000, I would start holding some kind of like a competition or something to kind of give back because with that many subscribers, I would be making a little bit of money. And with, with that money, I would use it for some sort of competition, but it's way too early to talk about that. Now I do have plans. If my channel got bigger, I couldn't imagine being 10,000, 20,000, 30,000 or more subscribers. I could not imagine how busy my channel would be. As it is, I have a hard time keeping up with comments now. I think it would quit, get quite overwhelming. Um, so I have no plans to be like, you know, Black Friday or, you know, somebody like that. I have no plans at all. I, I've been sitting here taking the YouTube boot camp tests and they kind of teach you what to do on your channel and what you should do and what you shouldn't do and how to get more subscribers and blah, blah, blah. Pretty much everything they tell you to do, I don't do. I do it wrong. I do notice that certain YouTubers follow this formula exactly like Black Friday, for instance. Like she follows their formula almost to the T and she's got shit tons of subscribers. So I know it must work. The whole positivity, don't interact with the bullies and things like that. It works for some people. It gets them numbers, it gets them seen, um, that kind of content, it gets people interested. Shorter videos, things that are quick and to the point, that works. I've tried, I can't make it work. So I've just, you know, instead of just stressing out, looking at the clock and thinking, I've hit the five minute mark, I need to wrap it up, what do I do, what do I do? I just, I just talk and um, I open my mouth and words come out and if people watch, they watch, if they don't, they don't. You know, it's all the same in the end. This is how I know I'll never be a big subscriber, a big YouTuber, because I cannot follow the formula. I've tried. I just can't do it. Um, I don't have it in me and it's not worth the stress. So I'm not going to do it. Uh, thanks for listening. If you guys have listened to this, I really didn't want to make this video today, but you know, that's been grading in my head that I really want to retaliate to this dumbass that you know, said this to me. Ugh. Um, I've got one last thing to say, and that is I don't mind you guys finding me on Facebook, following me, adding me, messaging me, whatnot, um, even emailing me. But there's been 
more than a handful of people that have found my son through my YouTube and they've added him and they flirt with him and all this stuff. And I mean, he's an adult. He can do whatever he wants. You guys are adults, whatever. I just find it kind of creepy and kind of weird. I don't really approve of it. I don't really like it. He comes to me and he's like, um, who is this person? And they're hitting on me and they're saying this and that. And I'm like, that's one of my subscribers. And he gets a little weirded out because he's quite shy. And I get weirded out because I think it's a little improper to, you know, find me and be like, oh my God, you're so beautiful. I love you. You're so awesome. And then to go from that to like hitting on my kid, it's like, I don't know. It just doesn't, it just doesn't feel right. I just don't like it. So, um, I can't control you if you do or you don't, but I would kind of prefer adding him as a friend is one thing or saying hi to him is one thing, but like trying to sext him or dirty message him or get like that with him is kind of, yeah, I don't think you should do that. But, um, Anyway, for the rest of you guys, I hope you have a great day and take care of yourselves. And uh, I've got some stories coming up. I've found some other books and I am going to be reading them. I am I made two videos yesterday, but I didn't um, think to pause the video as I was coughing and clearing my throat and stuff. And so I'm probably going to have to redo them because as I'm reading, it's like, blah, 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 blah. <coughs> and, and I think that's really distracting. So I'm going to have to redo it, but I've pulled up some books that I really, really love. And so I'll be reading those to you guys and, um, just keep your eye out on the, on the new channel. See, so yeah, I, I stumble over my words and this is going to come out in the stories and that's what I'm really scared of, but I'm just going to give it a shot. So far, I've got some really good reception and um, those will be coming out soon and then hopefully they'll be more more consistent. It's just I'm waiting for more subscribers to kind of pop up and things like that. And uh, yeah, so I will see you guys soon. Hopefully take care again and thanks for being here and being you and understanding most of all. Uh, no, just kidding. <laughs> I'll see you guys around.